to the new dad. I mean, this time around, I can't even give any excuses, bro. I've been away with a bat. With a bat. You guys remember when everybody was like, ooh, Asaka this, um, Bloodline recording this. Um, who else? Like, like, make no mistake, I actually like Blah Blah Recording. You know what I mean? Like, I like Jeff Girls. I like all them scared. I like, um, what's his name again? Yaltizi, right? Yaltizi and Jebon. What's happening with you guys, though? Did you guys have a fight? I see Jebon is not really, like, representing the whole, um, LAD, like, that local all day. You know what I mean? But on this episode, I take you, like, all the way back to maybe five years ago. Before there was Asaka. You know what I mean? Like, before there was, like, an actively thriving drill scene in Ghana. La Man Gang. La Man was already doing trap and drill music, but obviously nobody was calling it like that, like that, right? So this episode, I got a man, you know, Kid Black have dark vibes, obviously from um, La Man Gang coming in with Placebo, right? I ain't gonna do too much. All I'm gonna say is this, watch this. Tell me if this was not like the first drill track, like drill or trap track proper in Ghana, right? Let's do this. And this was like produced by, I think, um, what's his name again? The dude, the dude with the X accent, his name, right? I used to call him Next Worth. Come find out, it was just North. Spelling it with X's and W's, silly. So Hawkeye Cinnamon. And you saw that, didn't you? Watch this. You see that? La Man Gang been pioneering the street world forever, bro. Forever. That was like, I think, Vans or something. <laughs> Kid Black. Placebo is a Latin phrase that means I shall be acceptable and pleasing slash packaging. I don't know, like, placebo just... So, in, like, in medical science, placebo is a medication you give to somebody that is not really a medication. You know what I mean? Like, it's just something you give to somebody so they feel like they're, they're taking a medication. It could be just sugar. It could be, you know, just a capsule. It doesn't really affect the medication or you know the person's condition but the person feels like they're taking medication and because of the mentality they get well so whilst it's not really say you are treating diabetes if i give you you know water pills it doesn't treat diabetes but your mentality is like oh i'm taking medication for diabetes then you get better that is always called a placebo i do not know about i shall be acceptable or pleasing or whatever but let's listen to this hey 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 Do the so like nobody counts out great you know what i mean like i don't i don't care if you are tomboy sata wallet cristiano ronaldo albert einstein whoever like in whatever field you do not start out great you start out good maybe you're better than your peers maybe you're better than average you know what i mean but there's something about you that makes somebody you know sit down and take notice like, well, there's something about the Einstein guy. There's something about the Tupac guy. There's something about the Abraham Lincoln guy. Like, it doesn't matter your feel, right? Now, watch the introduction here. If you were, like, a first-time listener, you're going to be like, wait, there's something about the producer. There's something about the cool vibes, right? Watch how um, North began the instrumentals right where the cool vibes started the verse. Where he came out with the, hey, 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 and then he tells you, we've been talking. The whole place, when it comes to placebo, we got it, right? Watch how it began. Watch what the, the producer did over there. Watch after the hey, 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 hey. I like that shot still. The silhouette looks like a goat. We get down. And if you guys remember, Spacely's first album was called Finesse Will Be Finesse, right? And obviously, Spacely is a part of the Lamin gang. So, this is Darko vibes, like, you know, Sally bigging up the man, um, Spacely, right? 
He says he's basically finesse up. And in Ghana, I, I don't think it's a Ghana thing though. If you finesse somebody, you trick them. It could be you trick them out of money, out of their girlfriend, their boyfriend, whatever. Like you finesse them, you trick them. You know what I mean? You scam them. <laughs> Uh -huh. and just let's not forget this obviously that's my baby crying in the background but what you gonna do yeah say hi to everybody let's not forget when la man game came out it was not just about the music they had this aesthetic like they had a way of like appearing of performing of of doing their music their dress code was different. Their state performances were different. Their music was different. Their instrumentals was different. You know what I mean? Watch this. Now this came out five years ago. Fast forward 2023, and every almost everybody dresses like that, with the high waist jeans and the t-shirt tucked in, and you know the vans like simple streetwear. You know what I mean? That made like you know the Lamen gang stand out. That made you pay attention to them. It was just not about the music, but the aesthetic too. You know what I mean? They were dope. They were dope like in every aspect. You know, visually, musically, sonically. Now, obviously, everybody knows my guy is 100%. But my girl translator tells me, it means like, we, we don't wait for somebody to serve us. Like, we set our own table. We don't watch somebody's dance to dance. We we set up our own dance. You know what I mean? Now I almost forgot about the place he said, um, "You forget about Dark over is the only life. Forget it is is an Italian word. It means fake. He says you are forget it means you are fake. Dark over is don't like that. You know what I mean? Then he says Mahama paper. You remember that song? My Shatawale. Mahama paper. Paper. You remember that song? Come on, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Now, if I know our crowd very well, this was shot somewhere on the Tamamoto way. You know what I mean? Like the motorway has a stretch of land, like free vegetation, like like the savannah region, right? This was where the music was shot. If I'm not mistaken, the video. You know what I mean? Watch where the cars pass. Tell me this does not look like a place on the Tema motorway. <laughs> You see the tip of truck passing over there? You see the truck? That is usually a place where, like, you know, trucks pass a lot. The Temamoto way, the Accra Temamoto way, or whatever. And why are they jumping around like that? What kind of weed were they smoking? You know what I mean? I like the outfit still. I like, like, Kid Black's outfit, the yellow, um, you know, waterproof sweater so thingy. It's dope. <laughs> Bro, who shot the video, bro? Who who shot this? It's it's just it's different, bro. They don't shoot videos like this no more. You know what I mean? It's it's simple. It's just like you know a bunch of dudes like the Lemon Gang jumping around near the motorway, but it's it's still pleasing. You know what I mean? Like um the purple coloring, the the silhouette, the ghost thingy. You know, and Kid Black starts rapping, and all you see is his mouth. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's dope. Respect to like Hawkeye Cinemas. This was dope. What are you talking about? I had to come out on the game, now I'm close to it. Ow. Gave a couple hoes rings, so I didn't think it wasn't real, but I let them hoes do it. Flow always born. Yeah. I don't treat the shit like I'm showing. I don't treat the shit like I stopped all the chat about us, other rappers on my level, even though I did do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If it ain't no money, they'll call me, man. I'm talking about some other shit. <laughs> And you will see that good vibe fully supports the message. Like, if you end up a man, you don't call me talking about smaller shit. And that good vibe was like this. No, don't call me. If you ain't about money, don't call me. I don't want to talk to you, bro. Unless it's about money. Like, Jean, Cody, you feel me? Dope. Chat about us other rappers on my level, even though I can't do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
If it ain't no money, don't call me, man. It's all about the shit. Placebo, placebo, I get it, hoes. Zero, we fucking with. Dark vibes, can't nothing get me mad. Can't go play this shit for everywhere. I swear, see my guys through the hill. Yeah. And that was prophetic, right? Because they played the song everywhere, bro. When Placebo dropped, bro, they played it everywhere. And Kibla was like, listen, I swear my guys would be here. They go play this shit for everywhere. You know what I mean? That was prophetic still. Prophetic, bro. My guys would be here. Yeah. Placebo. Placebo. Now, by the way, we chose the RJZ. Is that Hennessy? RJZ, that is Henny, isn't it? Yo, Nox production is stupid, bro. Like, Nox production is so underrated. This dude basically pioneered trap and drill music in Ghana, bro. And nobody mentions him in that, in that conversation. Respect to the man KTO. Apparently, the music was like directed by the man KTO for Hawkeye Cinemas. You feel me? Respect to the man North who produced this. Like I told you, bro, this was the pioneering of drill music in Ghana, bro. What are you talking about? It's people bangs, and I brought you fire. Peace.